Welcome back to the Purpose Babe Show. I'm your host, Corey Clark, and we are on day three of the Purpose Challenge. So today's challenge is short and sweet and to the point. It's just going to take some little bit of time for you to go through um, the questions that I ask and work through that for yourself. But I'm really excited because the things that we go through today are the things that are really going to catapult you into your purpose and the authority that God has called you to. And I have an exciting announcement at the end of the challenge. So make sure you stay tuned. And if you have not um, signed up for the challenge, like to get the emails and the worksheets, you can still do that. Go to um, the link in the profile. It's coreyclark.com forward slash forward slash challenge. Um, you can sign up there and you can get access to all three of the video challenges and the worksheets. And um, that's going to get taken down in about a week. So if you want to get that, I suggest doing it now and enjoy the challenge. Hey friends, happy Thursday. We are on the last day of the challenge. I am so excited. Today is going to be short and sweet um, and to the point as you've probably realized, that's kind of how I like to do things. I don't like drawn out long challenges and trainings and webinars because we all have very full lives, right? So if you are tuning in, watching the replay, let me know in the comments, just type the word replay and let me know what you guys have thought about the challenge. I would love to know what your takeaways are, um, what you've learned. If you've had any aha moments where you are like, Oh my gosh, I think I realize my purpose now, or maybe you've already known it for a long time. And now you're like, okay, I've got some clarity to move forward. So I'm really excited to dive into today, to today's challenge. Um, remember there's worksheets in the group. You can print them out. Um, you can, there's, you know, worksheets for each day. So there's three sets of worksheets that you can find under the files in the group. And, um, I'll send you guys like a wrap up email with kind of like, a final, here's the worksheets, here's the replays. I'm actually going to put them all on one page so that you can tune in and watch them all back to back, print out the worksheets, get all the info that you need. And then at the end of today's challenge, um, I have some exciting news to share with you. So, um, before we dive in to what we're going to talk about today, I just want to recap what we went through on day one and day two. So in day one, um, we really talked about just believing what God has told you, believing the dream he's put in your heart and knowing that's from him. And, um, you know, if that's something that you're struggling with, we kind of went through some of the things that you can do to help move forward and figure out exactly what that is. And, you know, it's just about rediscovering what you're passionate about, what you're good at, the gifts that God gave you and actually believing him and taking him at his word and stepping into your purpose. Um, and then on day two, we talked about, um, what's stopping you, you know, figuring out what it is that's keeping you from stepping fully into your purpose. And sometimes that's mental roadblocks and sometimes it's physical roadblocks. And so we talked about those and how we can come up with a plan to get rid of them. So today we are talking about taking strategic action. Okay. So yes, I do do think that messy action is better than none at all. But then when we can get strategic, that's when we can really start to take ground. We can really start to not just step in to the purpose and authority that God has given us, but we can actually like push forward and go even further. Right? So, um, so what we're going to talk about today is taking that strategic action and what that looks like. And 
if you have your worksheets, um, I have a few questions on there, but you know, some of the things that you're going to have to deal with, some of the things that you're going to have to address is your mindset, right? You're going to have to get your mindset right. You're going to have to, you know, going back to day one, believe in yourself, believe that you've been called to something bigger and actually start to act that way even before it's come to fruition. Okay. So when you feel like, okay, for me, I, um, when I'm thinking of my goals and the things I want to achieve and wanting to be a seven figure earner, then I have to start acting as if it's already happened. Okay. And so that's part of the mindset is not just believing in your mind, but actually acting like you believe it, acting like God's already given it to you, acting like you are already fulfilling the dreams that God's put in your heart. Okay. And then you have to have a vision for the life that you want. You have to be able to picture it, right? There is a big truck right outside the window. So sorry for the interruption. Um, you have to have a vision that is so detailed and so like perfectly in your mind of exactly what you want. Okay. What is your life going to look like? I'm not even just talking about your business. What's your life going to look like? If you had like, let's say in five years, if your life was going to look a certain way, what are those details? Who are you friends with? What's your health like? Where are you traveling to? Um, what does your job or business look like? What does your family look like? What does your community look like? Okay. And really map out a vision of what that's going to look like. So this is something that we do inside of my purpose, babe society. We get super clear on our vision. We go through our mindset work. We change those limiting beliefs into something that's going to actually help us. And we break those limiting beliefs into something that is true. Okay. And then the next thing you're going to need to work on is your values. Okay. If you don't know what your values are, you're not going to be able to start to cut out the things that don't matter to you. Okay. So it's so important to sit down, write down your values. What are your top five core values? Because when you start to come to decision making points in your life, when you start to, um, you know, when you need to make a decision about somewhere to move or, you know, like I'm talking like big life decisions or something to do with your business, even down to the little decisions. Like when you're going to add, you know, some sort of new revenue stream to your life. If you don't know your values, you're going to end up like chasing shiny objects, going down paths that you shouldn't be on. So you've got to know your values. Okay. And if you are the kind of person that wants to run your own business, you have to get super clear on your brand, on your niche, who you're talking to. And those are all things that line up with those core values, right? So you can kind of see where I'm going. You have to start like at the top with your mindset and you have to believe in yourself, right? And then you move into your vision and then you move into your values and the rest can be added on. If you try to build something without Working on those first three things, you're just setting yourself up for failure or for a lot of headaches, maybe not necessarily failure. Um, so in your worksheets, I have a really cool exercise. Um, we actually do this exercise a little bit more in depth in my Purpose Babe Society, but it's so, um, it's so beneficial. And so I want you guys to actually kind of do part of it. And so what you're going to do in your worksheets is you're going to write out like where you want to be this time next year. Like, what do you want your life to look like? What do you want your business to look like? What do you want? You know, all those dreams and goals that God has given you, those desires he's given you. What do you want that to look like a year from now? Okay. And then I want you to write out the exact steps that you need to take to get there. What are the things you need to do? Okay. And I'm saying like, let's map it out, write out what are the projects that you're going to have to do to get there. And then I want you to write out the things that you are not 
going to do to get there because the things that you're not going to do are just as important as the things that you are going to do. Okay. So there's some things that you need to stop doing in order to get to that point. So a year from now, if you're picturing your life looking totally different than it is now, you have got to come up with some strategic action steps that are going to get you there. And you've got to make a list of the things that you're not going to do. So, you know, some of those things might be, you're not going to spend time watching Netflix at night. Maybe you're not going to, um, sabotage yourself, like self-sabotage with your thoughts. Maybe you're not going to waste time being a perfectionist on certain things. Okay. So make those lists, go through your worksheets and really get clear on what you want your life to look like. Start believing that it's going to happen. Start acting like it already has happened and then come up with strategic action. Because like I said, at the beginning of this call, you can take messy action and that is going to get you started. That's going to get the ball rolling. That's going to help bring clarity action always always brings clarity, whether it's messy action or strategic action, it's going to bring clarity. It's going to help show you what that next step is. And you have to have that vision of where you want to go, or you're not going to get there. You will never just end up where you want to be without having that vision of where you want to be and taking strategic action towards that vision, right? The quickest way, like if you are climbing a mountain, the quickest way is straight up and down, right? And yeah, a lot of times we have to do switchbacks and we have to go back and forth. But if you keep your eye on that prize at the top of the mountain at where you want to go and you start strategically creating the quickest path to get there, that is how you are going to get there with less headaches. You're going to get there much quicker and you're going to be more fulfilled and you're going to be actually walking in the purpose that God has called you to. So Let me know what you guys come up with on your worksheets. I really want to know. I'm excited to see what you guys have learned. What are the action steps you're going to start taking? And I'm super excited because, um, not today, but on Sunday. So you need to get on the wait list on Sunday. I'm opening the doors to the purpose babe society. And this is the last time the doors will open this year. And next year we're actually raising the price. Um, quite a bit. The price is going to be double next year. So on Sunday, I'm opening the doors. And if you want to get on that wait list so that you can get in before they close, go to coreyclark.com forward slash VIP. I'll put the link in um, the comment section here so that you guys have it. But get on the wait list because when I open the doors, I've got some really exciting bonuses that are going to help you get super clear on where you want to go, help get rid of those things that are stopping you. Um, And so the bonuses are amazing. I have extra bonuses that I haven't done before. And like I said, this is the last time. So I'm excited for all the women who are going to join us. I have amazing women already there ready to welcome you with open arms. And we're going to really take like massive steps forward next year. We're going to take a lot of ground for the kingdom. We're going to take a lot of ground pursuing our purpose, walking in our authority and fulfilling the dreams that God put on our heart. So I'm excited to do that with you. If you are ready to step into that abundance, into that calling that God has given you that you already have, you just need some tools and some support to step into it. Then get on the wait list and you will get an email on Sunday, letting you know all the details and how to get in. All right, you guys have an amazing weekend. If you have questions about this challenge or any of the worksheets, just ask in the group. I'm happy to answer all your questions and help guide you because my ultimate goal, the thing I love doing the most is helping women step into the purpose that God has called them to. All right, you guys have a great weekend and I will see you soon.